Texas summers, especially running in a Texas summer, means extra hydration. This is 500 milligrams of sodium, full electrolyte profile, naturally sweetened, naturally flavored, strawberry, absolutely delicious. We're doing eight miles this morning. Now we don't do many sales at BPN, usually just one, sometimes two a year. The one big sale is always Black Friday in November, but this year we are doing a 4th of July sale. It is 20% off the entire site from July 3rd to July 5th. So if you need to restock on protein powder, nutrition bars, uh, greens and red superfood, pre-workout, creatine, pump enhancer, electrolytes, endurance fuel, we got you covered. So 20% off from July 3rd to July 5th. BPN is doing a 4th of July sale this year. So stock up. Now let's go run. Got the feeling in your bones. Make you feel right at home. Hard it does it, does it well. Keep me dancing till I'm dead. My dream one day is I'm doing all of my running on trails. Now, a lot of my runs right now, they're done in my neighborhood just for convenience, especially with the baby back at home. But I love getting the opportunity to come out on some trails. Nothing super technical, but just being in the woods, surrounded by trees and nature, you can hear like all the birds and cicadas just making so much ruckus and noise but it's clarifying noise it's not busy distracting noise out here it's just very freeing but one day i'm gonna own property i'm gonna have running trails in there and it's gonna be epic now at the time i'm recording this it is a day before Father's Day. And tomorrow, oh, you guys see that? She got hit by a, a bug of some sort. Tomorrow's Father's Day. It'll be my first Father's Day ever. So I wanna wish all you dads out there a happy Father's Day. I have run through a record-breaking amount of spider webs on this run through these trails today. I'm sure I'm covered in spiders somewhere on my body, which freaks me out. Run is complete, eight miles, one hour, two minutes, 44 seconds at a 751 minute per mile pace. Right now, the minimum amount of miles that I'm running is about eight. Occasionally, I'll do a five miler, but at this point in my training, as I'm getting closer to last band standing race in September, when I just go out and run on a daily basis, it's usually an eight mile run. One thing I have noticed, I've observed is that my body has adapted to the heat. My feet used to be drenched in sweat after a one hour run here in the summertime. And I could feel my socks just like sloshing around in my shoes. I feel like my feet, my body has adapted where my feet don't sweat as much anymore. But this is the true test. Wow. That was weak. It used to be like buckets. 
so we eat some breakfast. So here's breakfast. I typically keep breakfast a little lighter and then I go heavier, especially with carbs, my second meal. So this is four whole eggs from Shirtail Creek Farm with half a cup of egg whites, uh, about a cup of blueberries, one banana, and then what I've been doing the last couple of weeks and really enjoying it for my gut health is one cup of goat's milk kefir which is a live cultured, high probiotic, uh, like yogurt drink. So I drink a cup of this every morning and uh, keeps me regular. I love goat's milk. Also love goat cheese. Right here is my morning supplement stack. So in this shaker bottle, there is one scoop of strong greens, one scoop of strong reds, one scoop, which is five grams of creatine monohydrate, and then this is fish oil, multivitamin, and then strong joints from the strong series, strong omega, strong multi, and then strong joints. So after breakfast, we went for a walk. Isn't that right? And now we're in the playpen and we're playing with some blocks and we're gonna read some books. Charlie just turned 11 months old two days ago. She's standing up on her own, not walking yet, but she's standing up, she's crawling a lot. She turns one year old next month. Hey, can you, can you show everyone how you stand up? Hey, that's you. She loves books, like this one right here. Let's read this one. This one's called, You're My Little Cuddle Bug. You're my baby bumblebee, you are so very sweet. So right here is my second meal of the day. This is eight ounces of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef, 12 ounces of just a sliced up sweet potato. And on top here, I have pickled jalapenos, pickled onions, and then under this is about a serving and a half of Primal Kitchen's buffalo sauce. But what we do is we get these, these pickled veggies from Farmhouse Delivery, which is like a, a co-op here in the Austin, Texas area that supports local farmers and ranchers. So like these are pickled carrots, pickled jalapenos, pickled onions. I love adding these onto just like my lunches and, and dishes and meals, it really spices them up and adds some, some kick and flavor. Oh, and also I forgot, uh, I'm eating this apple as well. So some more carbs. I've been on a huge apple kick lately, having at least one apple a day, but I'm throwing this in, uh, in this meal too. One of the best investments I made this past year was in meat. So this is a deep chest freezer with half a cow. I bought half a cow. I put the deposit down about six months ago and I picked up the meat a few weeks ago and I bought a quarter of a cow from the same farmer two years ago. It's Bar 3 Ranch. It's right down the road from BPNHQ, run by this, uh, this man named Jeff Rusk. It's a grass-fed, grass-finished operation, and the meat is absolutely incredible. But if you have the space and you have the money to do it, I recommend buying beef, meat in bulk. You can buy a quarter, a half, a whole cow. You can split it with people. Uh, and then find a ranch or a farm locally to you where you know how that meat is being being raised, how those animals are being raised. Look at this beauty. So we got a little bit of everything in here. Uh, one of my favorite parts in the evening is I come in here, I grab a few pieces, throw it in the fridge, let it thaw out for a few days, and I just make my selection. It's like, it's like Christmas. Uh, there's been a lot of ground beef. The ground beef is absolutely incredible. It's lean, it's got like a sweet flavor to it. I think we've we've ate most of the ribeyes so far. There are a bunch of ribeyes in here and they were great. But for example, you got like a beef sirloin steaks, beef cube steak tips, there's a brisket there. 
Um, these are beef rack ribs. I can't wait to make these. I got, I think, two or three rack ribs in here. Um, also, Buso, there's some flanken style short ribs. I actually have some short ribs thawing out for tomorrow night. So a little bit of everything, but I mean this whole this whole chest freezer is just filled with high quality grass fed, grass finished beef. Okay, someone's up from their nap and they're wild. They're wild. Oh, thank you. This is their new thing. It's so nice. Thank you for the snuggles. Go 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 go. I go go. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's you're you're getting so close to saying it. I'm looking at Charlie's baby book because it's gonna be on display at her first birthday party next month. Big ol' one. In the smoothie, we have one scoop of Nutter Bar Blast whey protein, one scoop of peanut butter cookie vegan protein, have one serving of just plain Greek yogurt, a little bit of almond milk, about 200 grams of frozen banana. Whenever our bananas are starting to go bad, we'll just dice them up and throw them in a freezer bag. Two dates, about a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of almond butter. I also wanted to show this. We recently added this to our website. This is an unflavored and unsweetened variant of our whey protein powder. So if you want to add protein to smoothies or things that you're baking with and you don't want sweeteners or flavor added, this is an option on our website. Like I said, unflavored. It is just whey protein concentrate and casein protein. Third meal of the day. Got a smoothie. Haven't been doing too many smoothies lately, but it being the weekend and we've been bouncing around getting some errands done. We're about to hop in the pool with, with Charlie, making a smoothie very quick to get some, some more protein in and stay on top of calories. I personally like making my smoothies a little thicker and I'll usually eat them with a spoon right out of the blender. Let me give a little taste test. Mmm, banana, peanut butter, those two flavors just always go well together. And the dates add a nice sweetness along with the honey and uh, thicken it up a little bit. Spot on. We're gonna see who's the fastest pup. You got a head start? All right, you ready? Set, go! says that me and Charlie look identical. It's the hair. We have the same hair. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Get it. There you go. Good girl. So we're heading to dinner tonight, and before we go to dinner, I'm knocking out a uh, back workout in the garage gym. It's hot as shit in here. I'm dripping sweat everywhere, there's puddles. But I will tell you one thing, I love training in a hot gym. It feels, feels good. I've been waiting for 
I've been waiting for Texas summer to come back for these workouts right here. This feels great. Rocking out into a little May Day parade during this training session. We are at dinner. Charlie is eating her grilled cheese. That looks good. Steph has a steak and arugula salad. And then I ended up getting a pork chop with mashed potatoes and carrots. And it has like a, uh, a molasses and caramelized apple and bacon kind of jam spread on top, which looks really, really good. The best part about ordering a piece of meat on a bone, this is a double bone in pork chop, is at the end you just eat it right off the bone and that is the best part. So much flavor. We are leaving dinner. We are heading home and wrapping up a fun Saturday. So guys, thanks for tuning in to another video and we will see you in the next one. Say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. All right, we'll see you guys.